In today's lecture, I'm going to tell you how to read a data from an Excel file by using a programming language Ruby. So before starting, first we'll create an Excel file. So here is the my Excel file. I'm creating a field called serial number name status and I'll put two records now we'll save this file so um, I am saving it in my downloads path. I will give an example. So while saving the file you need to make sure you should always save this excel file in this format 97.2004. So here my excel sheet has been saved uh, it is having uh, two records and these are all the field name okay now the prerequisite uh, what we have needed in order to read a data from an excel sheet is we need to install a gem library file called separate sheet so in order to install a gem file you just has to open your chrome browser go to ruby rubygems.org site and the gem file you have to install is separate sheet here is this gem file So you need to install this gem separate sheet and the command is to install this gem is gem install separate sheet. So this gem file is already installed in my machine. If it is not installed in your machine, so first install this. You can check your installed gems by using command gem list. It will list all the gem file which is installed at your machine at present and suppose you want to search for the particular gem file whether it has been already installed in your machine or not you need to use a command called gem list and then just grab uh, see this gem file is already installed in my machine so it is listed here so if it is not installed in your machine just install this gem file once this gem file is, is installed we are good to start with our coding part so reading an excel file is quite easy you just need to include require ruby gems as i told we need a separate seed gems in order to work with an excel file so include that one also uh, i'll create a local variable file name just to you know provide the path of the file which we want to read so I stored my file in download directory so just want to get the path so simply I am dragging it here so that I get the actual path of this yeah. 
yeah so this is the file which we are going to read it so reading an excel file is qu quite easy so what we have to do we will again we will declare another local variable book and then we need to use spreadsheet library in that we will call a method called open and in that we'll pass the path of the file or name of the file which you want to open so uh, since i have already saved this file name into this variable so i'm passing this variable as a parameter to this function open so what it will do it will open the excel file for the reading it will not open in your front end basically it's an object it will create a pointer to that and you can read it after this now the next thing is which sheet you want to read so you know in a workbook there are multiple worksheets so if you want to read a particular worksheet so you need to point out that particular worksheet suppose i want to read uh, the first worksheet so book dot worksheet now this take uh, parameter in a two way I, you, either you can pass the name of the sheet or the indexing of the sheet so let me open the excel sheet this, this is the excel sheet which we are going to read so as I told so here the sheet one is this one okay so indexing will be like this zero if there are suppose 10 sheets are available so it will be like zero one two three so i just want to read my first sheet so i will pass zero now i what i will do i will iterate through each row and i will print the record Uh, the reason I am passing one here is so we want to read the value only we don't want to read the header so that's the reason I am passing one to here so it will start from this record if I will not pass anything here it will start from the beginning so it's an optional So what will happen when it will start iterating so it will point out to first row okay so in order to access the value of each cell so you need to pass an index value so this will be row 0 row 1 row 2 so when it will like first it will point to row and in that row if you want to iterate you need to pass the cell indexing So when it will iterate first time it will be on row 1 so for row 1 I want to print the value of the stored cell 0 we have three cells so i want to print serial number name and the status so this will be the second cell and this will be the third cell 
so for each record i want to print this three entry and once you have done this operation always make sure you will close the connection so that you know your excel file should not get corrupted so you need to use that book dot input output operation dot close now i'm gonna save this excel or oh, sorry ruby file into my download and i will give a name read excel dot rb i saved it now i am expecting that i should able to get two records here you can see there are two records and i am expecting that i should get these two records let's check how it works in order to run this file Our file name is read excel dot rb now i'm running this ruby file okay so it is telling there is some issue with the support set so it's a spell mistake if i can see time happen like you, while writing the code you get some typo issue let's run it again see you can you, you are able to read the records let me open the excel sheet so that you can match it the records yes see first shashikant and the status single second rahul and merit so this way you can read the data in the excel sheet i will uh, add this code into the description hope you have find it easy if you like it just like the video thank you